Hi, hi. Today we're going to tell you how to cleanse and clear a crystal because um, crystals they're, they've got a lot of properties in them but if you don't cleanse them it's like when you buy them from a shop there's like so many people been touching them there's probably hundreds of people that have touched a crystal. So, they've got all their energies yeah, on it. Yeah so it's like they could be depressed or anything and they their energy will go into you if you don't clear that crystal because it's like a computer. So you, you have to cleanse it and program it or else the crystal will just stay being a pretty little stone and it will have lots of bad energy in it. Which you don't want. So you need to change the stone from being a pretty stone which could, has God knows what in it to a cleansed and pure stone which it, it will become a healer for you and help you, yeah? Um, like even quartz, right this is quartz. The clear one looks a bit like glass, I suppose. You get all these points and round ones and chunks, but without that, we wouldn't have com computers and electronic devices. Um, they're like living computers because inside, if you look at one of these, you see like patches in it. If you like look at it in real life, little patches, and that's like all the all the information that's got stored inside the crystal, like over the time. It's like a, like a computer building up all its memory. Um, so, and quartz crystal, it actually makes up 12% of the Earth's crust. It's a bit of um, information. Hashtag science, Kim. But even clear quartz, it's, it's in the family of smoky quartz, amethyst, which is quite common. Rose quartz. Which that's is that one here. Got a nice big oh, chunk. That's heavy. Citrine, which is like a yellowy. I want some more. <laughs> and sometimes people call clear quartz rock crystal, but that is probably the most versatile one because you can use it for anything. Because I suppose clear is like white Jack light and it has all kind of, of the colours in it. Yeah. Yeah. So there's like different things different things right so um quartz crystal is a uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> is um it's a natural conductor of electromagnetic energy one is that, that fact one yeah fact two it is both a receiver and ultrasonic transmitter see they're not just little bits of prettiness oh, fact um, three Fact four. That's three. Oh, amplifies <laughs> the purity of white light beams. So if you put a light through it, what comes out the other side of the crystal is a lot purer, a lot more concentrated, and it can heal better. Um, and it, you can balance and harmonize the aura. You know, like your your, your field that's around you. Energy field. Yeah. Kind of thing. Is that the fact? D. <laughs> <laughs> Fact five. You're go on then. <laughs> I've said balances and harmonises. Yeah, the aura. so I said you've done that one. Uh, right, when it's laid, did you do that one? <laughs> I don't <laughs> know. When it's uh, when it's laid on the body, crystal quartz decrystallizes knots in muscles, which block the flow of energy. Which is quite good if you've got like sore muscles or anything like that, yeah? Mm -hmm. And there's like, we've got this table which tells you like, they're normally grouped into colours. So if a crystal is not so much of what it's called, it's the colour of it. So like, to calm? Uh, right, so calming, there's revitalising and inspiring. And then it's for your physical, mental and spiritual body. And then for a couple of examples, so, um, stones for phys physically calming. So, like, if you're, like, a bit worked up, need calming down. Um, you'd have green stones. So, so any green things crystal. Things like this. Well, that looks really green. It does look way. really green. It's dark green. Yeah. Any green will calm you down. Yeah. Um, if, if you, like, it's depressed and you need calming down, it's a different colour. It's like an indigo. indigo. Crystal. And then here it's if your spiritual body needs calm, it's uh, light blue stones like this one. 
That is that looks blue. This is my, this is my favourite crystal. It's blue halite. She loves it. I love that. It's so good. And right. then if you want to be inspired. What you haven't got a one for that? <laughs> no, I haven't got to be inspired. This one. This one, uh right. Spiritually it, inspired. Spiritually inspired. Violet and purple stones. Like I think it's a Lemur, Lemur Lemurian quartz. It's really cute. I love it. It looks a bit weird, but okay. And then for revitalizing spiritually, golden and rose pink stones. I have two here. I have this, isn't that quartz? Got rose quartz? And this is, I uh, don't know what that is, but I know, I used to know. <laughs> it's golden and rose pink, so it's kind of like a bit of both. Okay, so yeah. then there's, there's hundreds of things, but probably if you Googled it and just, um, and it says a certain stone, just go by the colour, and it doesn't matter if you don't know the name of the crystal, if you have a crystal in that colour, it will be the same. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to take you through the steps of how to cleanse your crystal. Okay, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so crystals are like computers and the, you want that? Yeah, just, just <laughs> and um, they need to be cleared of their previous energy patterns um, and then they'll be ready, similar to like a blank disc and then it's ready to be programmed. So there's some methods that you can do to cleanse your crystals. And this is method one. So you get glass, this great glass, and then, oh my god, I don't trust myself. You fill it a little bit, a little bit. Just put some, put um, some water. Like, yeah, spring water in. Has this got like, okay. Like that. So you get some water. And then we have this. This, you, it says sea salt, but this is like Himalayan rock salt. It's it, it's from the earth, so it's like similar thing. Yeah. Um, and then just put like a probably for that amount of water. Table, about this yeah, yeah, probably like a couple of them spoons. Yeah. A couple of these. Like yeah. That. So you put some a couple of these spoons of this in, and then do you stir it up, oh, and you mix it. Mm -hmm. That's not good, it's a bit cloudy. That's alright. Right. I do it like that. And then you put in, then you put in your crystal. Is that pretty much it? Yeah. So we're going to use this green one that we showed earlier because it's not kind of chat. Um, and then, okay, so you drop it in. And then there's a crystal in there. And then you can put a few in, can't you? Can you can put a few of the same colour, is it? If yeah, it's the same colour. Or like opposite. Yeah. Um but and then use your intuition. It could take intuition. 15, I said intuition. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it could take from fifteen minutes to a couple of hours to whenever. So kinda of just Just when you feel when you feel like it's done. Which is really vague advice, but that's it. Another method of um, cleansing the crystals, um, you can leave, so say if we use this one, you could leave it outside, um, like just anywhere really, in sunlight or moonlight, um, depending on obviously time of day and whatever. Um, full moons are good, aren't they? Yeah. Full moons Brilliant. are good, um, they're great. Um, and just sunshine and everything, I think it's just because it's like the earth kind of thing, isn't it? the whole thing to do with the earth and how you leave it out but um we did a thing the other day we left them outside on the roof and like in the sun Not that everyone could leave theirs on the roof no if you lived in a house <laughs> if you live in a house you can't do that but you get the gist leave them outside in direct sun or moonlight <laughs> not behind a plant pot where it won't be reached by anything that's scary right okay that was method two do, 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 do. right method three you can use a smudge stick like this, which is like white sage, which is comes from like the ancient Red Indians. You can get it all over on the internet, and it's like like an incense stick. You light it, and then it it um. Now that my light is not going to work. <laughs> Never work with 
children and animals and lighters. Anyway, I've lit it already. <laughs> and you blow out the flame if it's got flame. And then it, the smoke comes up. This is really good for like getting rid of negativity. Like you can smudge it around in your room. So what you have to do is you hold your crystal and you're just in a spiral motion. Hold it into the, the smoke and it removes the negative energy. Again, just do it for as long as you feel right. Because your intuition is a really big thing and um, my head's going off the camera. <sighs> so you just kind of do that and let it cleanse in the smoke. Summer! Yeah, wait. Also, I haven't mentioned, like even if you have jewellery, like these little tiny little earrings, little studs that you wear, and they've got like a, a, a stone, like a crystal or something, and these have got peridot in. Um, cleanse these in a way that you're not going to damage them, and then when you wear them, you're going to have the proper good properties from them and it will kind of heal you. I've got both those for summer so we haven't actually cleansed them yet but yeah you can. All right so another method is have yet yeah, another glass of water and uh, it is to have pure spring water and put a few drops of rescue remedy into it because this is definitely rescue remedy and we definitely didn't lose my mess rescue remedy please just use it we're improvising <laughs> so you get we've pulled out half a summer how does that work <laughs> it's just droplets take the lid off drop it in just did it. oh oh it's like this yeah you just drop you just get a few there like that that's it a few drops of rescue remedy <laughs> and then um, do you mix it? I haven't got a spoon. It's okay. You just you do what you do with the wine. You go. Never mind. You get a spoon, <laughs> and you you just have a little mix of your rescue remedy into it, and then you drop the crystal in. We do this one, and then you leave it. And then you leave it. For how long you see necessary. Um, and this method is you run uh, your crystal, we use this one, under a tap for, how do you say, two to three hours? Yeah, this one might not be very practical if you're on like a water meter or something. <laughs> yeah, two to three hours, a little, but this is legit just put the water on the tap and then you just that pretty much that oh, good job that was really easy another way of clearing a crystal is dancing naked in the forest <laughs> with the crystals I'm, hanging I'm off not you naked. not really not really oh my god what you have to do is bury one so you have to bear with me while i like, dig also, up a bit of mud also, also before you stop um just i forgot i have money it, uh, in my <laughs> Bank of play money in my pocket. What well, when you were looking for the rescue remedy? <laughs> I put some money. On. Rescue bank in minutes. This is gonna take a while. I like the stick. It's really Did great. Let's just get a close Come up. Back. Come back in a little while, Summer. Come back in a little while. Turn it off. Well done. Didn't really dig much. This is a really old garden. It's like. On the premises. It's on the road. It's on the marina. I've just dug this tiny little hole because I can't dig much. And you just cover it with earth and you leave it. You can dig it better than that if you've got a shovel. Probably. You leave it overnight and all the goodness from the, the earth's, um, like the life force energy from the earth will cleanse your crystal. But don't forget where you put it and then you have to dig it. Yeah, because if you forget where you put it, you're in for a little bit of a disaster. Right. So, yeah. Woo, go forestry. Go on, summer swing. I'm a wrecking ball, but... <laughs> I came in like a wrecking ball. I'm go on then, let 
go! He's such a poem. Right, so that was how to cleanse them. So when they've all been cleansed, like when they were in the salt water or in the ground. Or anywhere else that we've or, mentioned. Or yeah. in the rescue remedy. But <laughs> if they've been in the sun or the moon, you don't need to rinse them off. But if they've been in any of the others, just rinse them under the tap. Especially the ground. Dry them off. And, um, and then they'll be ready to program, which we'll do in the next video. So Right, so like if you um, found this video helpful or enjoyed and subscribe to see more videos. <laughs> Thanks <and> Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> see you in, in the next video. Woo! Bye! Bye. <laughs> Bailey, what are you doing? <laughs> Mommy, you're